Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. You're a bully. Come again? You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't. But life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. It's not your baby. It's Alvin's. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. We all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. 
Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's gonna get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell'd she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble.
There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What, about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Whew. 